We have uncovered news of a plantation from which slaves are vanishing. The owners reported their escape, but our network can find no trace of them. If you don't your slave guys, perhaps you can investigate this mystery from within. A dressing chamber has been prepared for you in a strategic location. From the top of the cathedral, you will see it. A delivery will arrive at the plantation. A perfect cover. Hide in a wagon and follow the cart to discover the location without being seen. Second time this month. Customer relations are strained enough without shipments disappearing. Your uh, frustration is understandable, monsieur. In your position, I, I should demand a full investigation. Please, let me look into it. I, I will go talk to Monsieur de Saint-Maxent at once. Most grateful, Monsieur Blanc. At least I know I can always rely on you. My boy, the cargo was stolen from this very ship. I have no more means of retrieving it than you do. Oui, Monsieur. That is indeed troubling. I... Well, what would you suggest, then? I know this much. The devil had the gall to impersonate my dress and my signature. Can you imagine? No, monsieur. Imagination has never been my, uh, strong suit. If it's not too much trouble, may I uh, look at your books? My books? I'd interrogate the captain. If this crew takes bribes, I'd wager he's no less corruptible. You may uh, put your mind at ease, monsieur. The cargo will be delivered on time. I dare say thanks a road to Saint Nicolas. Or perhaps a uh, guardian angel, monsieur. Ah, Aveline. I am sure it is not your old father's company that draws you here. I will leave you both to your private business. Aveline. The documents you found aboard the Rat Captain's ship. I recognize the name. Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer, a known enemy. I don't know what his business is here, but we can be sure it's more than a simple larceny. How can I help? One of Agate's servant contacts tells us that he will attend a social soiree at the governor's mansion this evening. I'll have my best dress ready. Or my worst. <laughs> Fear not, Gerald. I'll uncover his true purpose. In the meantime, may I suggest that you uh, familiarize yourself with the governor's mansion? Perhaps discover a uh, discreet way to enter? Don't worry, Gerald. I will prepare well. Uh, one more thing. There is a small uh, house for sale near the governor's mansion. It would be ideal for a dressing chamber. If you wouldn't mind uh, buying it. Your wish is my command, Monsieur Blanc. Ah, Aveline. Good day. I have a, a surprise for you. What do you think? To the unknowing eye, an unassuming warehouse. But to our brotherhood? Your new headquarters. Agati takes his office in the swamp. But we thought you might prefer this for your business dealings. Aveline, I've, um concocted a special instrument for you. A uh, parasol? I suppose I should thank you, but... Uh, allow me to uh, demonstrate. See? Elegant and deadly. Just like my lady. Monsieur Blanc, you do know me so well. Ah! Right. Um, so, business. Do you recall our rival, Monsieur Boucher, who was twice caught watering his wine? Up to his old tricks again? Now he claims our coffee. He rods the nerves. He has erected a stall in the market by the docks and distributes handbills to that effect. Sales are impacted, and we have enough trouble keeping money in the company as it is. Say no more. I'll see to it that he ceases his slander. He'll be no more trouble. I'll say. He's going bankrupt, selling off his shops. Care to, um, expand your empire? 
Now there's an idea. If I buy him out, I can pay his slaves a wage and set them on the path to freedom. Well, certainly a more a peaceful solution to your usual method of handling slavers. I'll keep a tally of properties available to buy and make sure my informants keep an eye on uh, opportunities. Look for them. Thank you, Gerald. A small gesture. Hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gerald, if my father hadn't freed my mother, I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better. Gerald, I'm hearing about disappearing slaves again. I thought we ended that with Gouverneur d'Abadie. But it happens again, and not only slaves now, but laborers, the poor. Where are they all going? I set my informants on finding out. No. I'll do it myself. They need help now. May I suggest that you, um, start with saint Angé this time? Yes. This is one case we won't solve at the garden party. When you're ready to go, find me outside, near the docks. I'll show you a faster way there. Aveline, you are... unhappy? What did you find? Too much and not enough. The Spanish are behind the kidnappings. But the kidnapped seem to look forward to their transit, to where I don't know. No one at the fort could tell me. The directive must come straight from the uh, top, from Gouverneur Uyua. Is this why he hides in La Balise instead of coming to the city and leading like a proper leader? What is his true purpose here? I don't know, but I intend to find out. That will be difficult as long as he stays couched in La Balise. I'll drive him out and make him answer. Interrogation is not your usual style. This is not a usual circumstance. Good. Then let us gather our unusual circumstances to plan our attack. This Spanish governor has placed so many restrictions on trade, even plantation owners are practically begging for an excuse to riot. If I can infiltrate the crowd, I can create that excuse. I've received a very, um, exciting piece of intelligence. A gunpowder delivery. It's on its way to a city outpost. Unless we, uh, intercept it. I'm not dressed for interception. Do I have time to change? Oh, yes. Assume you're true, guys. Get your weapons and we'll go. We? You're coming too? You do realize it might get dangerous. Yes, well... well someone needs to navigate. Dressed like that? Gerard, I... Aveline, I'll have you know I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Why should you have all the excitement? I didn't know you wanted. I know what you think. Bloody sensible. Bloody boring. I'm more than just an accountant, Aveline. Very well. You're a navigator too. A regular Magellan. They're stealing the gunpowder! Stop them! Stop Hurry. them! Oh! Well, I think we got their attention. A terrible waste of wine, mind you. Spanish wine makes better floor polish anyway. Now, to get Ulloa out of La Balise. I suggest we regroup at the warehouse to strategize. Enough excitement for one day, Gerard? Yes, I think that should last me nicely. Thank you. Ah. Evelyn, to draw Ulloa out, we can hit the Spanish where it hurts, in the flotilla. Two military vessels are anchored at the port. If anything were to happen to them, Ulloa could not ignore it. I'll see what I can arrange. Evelyn, I got to warn me of your flight to Mexico. 
Do you intend to abandon your business and the slaves in New Orleans? What about your family? My father sends me to Cuba to find suppliers with his blessing. And you're more than fit to run the business in my absence. I must follow our enemy. And when were you going to tell me? I couldn't risk you trying to stop me. Is this all you see in me? Business, orders... Avelina, I care for you. Gerald, don't be angry. You know we cannot mix feelings with work. I had hoped to spare... Since I know I cannot stop you, is there any last assistance I can provide? I admit my plan to board this ship is clumsy. There's a compound nearby, where slaves are held. Slaves bound to Mexico. You can gain access to the ship by blending with them. I won't be able to take my weapons. Well, how will you defend yourself? Uh, right. Silly question. I'll hold them for you until your return. Thank you, Gerald. You're a true, true friend. Aveline! I... Gerald! You look as though you've seen a ghost. I left Chichen Itza the moment it was secure. Then you were... Uh, successful? De Ferrer will no longer trouble us. But there is more to this story. Always. I have much to tell you as well. The Spanish are... sympathetic to our aims now. New laws may ease your efforts to help the slaves. Could it be that for the first time, home holds more comfort than conflict? With you back, it feels like home again. I'm afraid I must now spoil your homecoming with business. There has been strange activity. Men in Spanish uniforms raising havoc in the bayou. Still? I thought you said Spanish interests are now aligned with ours. That's what makes it so... Strange. Are they secretly working for? That's what we need to find out. I have one need. An informant has seen a man bribing soldiers in town. For whom? I'll investigate. Aveline, aren't you forgetting something? Please, Gerald. Now is not the time. I, um. Uh, well, I merely meant to, to give you. Oh! Uh. Thank you. It's been too long. Aveline! Gerald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. This is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's Ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? We. Oui. Thank you, Gerald. And, um, Aveline, I... Uh, you will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Uh... Gerald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. Uh, for, um, uh, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Uh, strictly business, <clears throat> of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope. I am so sorry, but you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will, only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. <sighs> Although the reconstruction of our network has required an investment of several years, the help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. Evening. 
will lead us through the war of generations. There will be great sacrifice. Great sorrow to end the enslavement of the human race. Now is the time to claim our freedom. Are you with us? I am. Eve will lead us. Eve will lead us. It is done.